Hello my lovelies and welcome back to World of Mike and today we've got issue number 81 of Build the Eddie Stobart. Yes, unfortunately issue 70, uh, sorry, issue 80 is not in yet. So uh, we've got issue 81 instead. I've had a look at it and we can uh, circumvent that. So what we've got to do in here is quite a quick issue and it's the steering wheel and indicators the front left and right indicators are fitted to the side of the cab and the steering wheel is assembled so we should whiz through this um quite quickly as you can see we're going to be putting some indicators together they're going to go into the side of the cab so on either side of the cab the right and the left or the left and right whichever way you want to do it and then moving forward we're just going to be basically assembling the steering wheel and um yeah it will look something like that um, as soon as we've got issue 80, we will, I think issue 80 is the windscreen. So as soon as we've got that, I actually missed the Grand National this year, we will do that. Um, and I was thinking, should we do it or should we not? And then I thought, well, we haven't had an Eddie Stobart. I don't think we did one last week. So I thought I'd, you know, still try and circumvent it. I always try and circumvent it around parts if we're still waiting and stuff. But as you can see, next week is steering parts, uh, steering column housing, steering lock, steering column, joint steering guide, spring cable grip, steering, uh, sorry, steering link, and screws of various sizes. So that's really good. So let's put that over to one side and we'll get a little packet of things. You obviously will need your uh, cab that we've been working on a few um, assemblies ago. Um, and we'll get into the packet and get that done. I'm gonna use my diamond painting um, pen knife thing. This isn't much, by the way, you can get this uh, Diamond, but it's got a very thin blade, but it's so much safer than a bloody craft knife. I hate the things. I cut myself again the other day um, on that bloody craft knife. <laughs> um, so moving forward, I'm probably going to use this because I just seem to cut my pit, cut myself up. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's uh, going to be bits and parts that we've got there. Um, so this, I don't know how best we can do this, but. This is the steering wheel, very nice indeed. That's, yeah, that's die cast. So we'll move that over to one side. We're not gonna be using that for the moment. We've got DP11 screws, which I suspect are the only screws that we're gonna be using in this assembly. And what we're gonna do, we've got two of these, as you can see, very lovely silver paintwork on there. And we're gonna be getting our indicators. As you can see, one's got a bigger hole and then the other one has a locating pin. You can probably see that the uh, locating pin is the small of the two holes and the central one I suspect is just the f um, that one actually that central hole is so that we can pass an LED through it that's what that is okay so that's one I'm gonna do the other one as well just while we're here get that one's um, sorted and abolished and then that one's all done tickety be okay so that's that one lovely Okay, so this is where we get to put the indicators on now, which is really lovely indeed. I'm going to get myself, um, I keep forgetting to order that part work upgrades mat, so let me just get a t-shirt or something, because we don't, I really don't want to get this scratched, but this will do. My lovely sexy pink shirt. <laughs> uh, and what's going to happen guys, is we've got to smooth this up a bit. Um, you can see that it's going to fit into this hole here. So you can see we've got the pin and then the bigger hole and that's going to go into there. Now obviously your wire is going to go underneath that to power the lights up and stuff. But that's going to be secured in with a DP11 screw. So we'll just get our DP11 screw and we'll get my favourite screwdriver of all. Which is the one that the lovely Peter Webster got me. And we're going to turn that upside down. And basically, we might have to go under, well actually, we'll see what we can do here. It's quite an awkward position, this. Um, let's try again. Normally, if it keeps falling off, it's because the screw head's a little bit too big for that type of screw. Right, let's try again. Let's have a look here, so... Hmm, that's interesting because, oh right, the LED is going to pass through here, that's interesting. 
Okay, so what I want to do is downsize this screwdriver a bit. I'm gonna take it down a notch and we'll move it into, see if that will do it. That seems like a better fit. So let's put this back onto here. I like the fact that the the LED is gonna go on the other side. That's pretty groovy. There we go. Okay, so let's put that in again. Okay, let's just do that one. And then this is gonna go down into that, into here somewhere. This is what really annoys me is it's, you know, goes into there and then you can't screw it in because it just slips and slides all the time, right? So, maybe I should get my magnetizer or something. Once it's, you know, once we've got, a, oh Jesus. All right, let's get some magnetization on that. Maybe if we tilt it up like that, maybe. It's just, it's quite an awkward position, you see, because, oh man. Right, let's put that. I'm not a lover of fiddly bits. Um, I'm actually filming this at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Because my uh, insomnia is being a pain in the ass at the moment. So, yeah. Right, let's try this again. Oh. Trouble is, I don't know which. I've got a feeling this is not the right type of screw for this, you know. It doesn't seem to me. Definitely says DP11, but let's try this screwdriver. I'm just finding this really difficult to get in. I don't know why. It just doesn't seem to like it. Oh, we'll get there. We know it goes in there, but for some apparent reason, it's just not going in. And it's rather aggravating because, you know, I need to get this in. Doesn't even seem like the right type of screw. Oh my God. Just gonna, I think there's a blockage. So I'm just gonna. I think there's some sort of. It's look. It's like it's blocked. Oh my god. Right. I'm gonna come back to that one. Let's try this one for the minute because I think there's a, some sort of block blockage going on there. This one looks like it's got an, a, a better grip on it. So let's try this one. Oh. Can't be so difficult to get a bloody screw in. Right, that's it. Let's try the wow. Right, let's try that one actually. Try Gorbers, that seems like a better screw. Let's 
screw fitment there, so let's try that one. Getting annoyed. This won't go in. It can't be that type of screw, it can't be. Never known anything like it. Ah, oh, there we go, it is the right screw, but we it's the screwdriver causing the havoc. There we go, there we go, yeah baby. I mean, it's, it's quite difficult because you've got this bashing up against you. Oh, oh there we go, there we go. Oh, it's such an awkward position as well. Right, now I've got it in, maybe I can get it. <sighs> Should have put oil on that really, but... Oh, it's such an awkward... Really, really, it's because this is in the way, so it's you really don't have a lot of room to work with. Oh, 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 that's that's the best. Oh, that's got a lovely hair. Yeah, that's the right one. There we go. We'll use this one. Just give it one more turn. Is that on? I like it nice and tight, so a bit more. There we go. Oh, that was a job and a half. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Right. Now, this one, it's, yeah, see, there's a little bit of, it looks like it's blocked with shavings there. Mm, I don't have anything that I can get down there, but what we can do, if we get the screw... What we can do is try and screw that through first. So what we'll do is we'll screw it into here. That's why it keeps skipping, you see. So we'll screw it in and then that should knock that out, you see. Okay, let's reverse that up now. That should allow us to go in now. I've cleared that up. Hopefully we've got movement. <laughs> Right, so again, what we'll do, is we'll start it off with this one. Oh, for the love of God. Please make this issue be over. I'm not enjoying this one. I've cleared that several times. How much more magnet does this possibly need? Which one do we start? It must have been this screwdriver we started it off with. Once I've got the grip, yeah, there we go. And then I'll finish it off with this one. So we'll turn that up there again. Just finish it off with that one. Quite an awkward position, this. I have to painstakingly do this all over again soon. <laughs> so I built two of these, you see. So, okay. That's not as tight as I would like that, so I'm just going to try and tighten that up a little bit more. I'll just give it a little bit. that one just a little bit more yeah 
Right, thank God for that. Okay, so that's that one on, as you can see. And then we've got the other one on that side. And then what will happen is you've got a light, an LED will go through here. So something must be connecting onto that faceplate on the back because well, I think a wire will come through here, up through that hole, and then we'll just poke it through to that LED indicator, which is gonna go on there. That's gorgeous, fantastic. So that's all it wants us to do in that issue. So we now need to put it back into its little box. And uh, hopefully it won't be long before we can get rid of this box because it does take up an awful lot of room. Okay, so that's in there. Right, sorry about that. So uh, we got there in the end. <laughs> um, so now what we need to do is we now need to get our little steering mob mechanism. So this is this section here. And as you can see, we're then going to secure it. Um, it's not actually asking us to secure it, actually. It just wants, it's basically just showing us that there's like a D notch here that's going to feed into that D notch. So it'll go into there. Hang on a minute. It'll go into, where's the D notch? That one there, I think. Yeah, let's make sure the bigger ones. Or maybe it's this one. Let's have a look. No, it's definitely that one. But yeah, it's basically just showing us that that's going to go onto there. It doesn't go all the way on, but I think it's just for show at the moment. But it will go onto there, and then you've got this little piece here. That's not going to be used for the minute, because what will happen is that little bit is going to feed. We just undo this a minute. That little thing hit. Ooh, no, you don't. <laughs> um, as you can see, you've got like a little stop thing there. That's going to go into there like that. But for some reason, it doesn't want us to do that yet. But it will eventually go into there like that. That's gorgeous. Oh, like that. I think it says DAF written on. Yeah, there's DAF written on that. D A F. So that will go onto there. Um, I'm not going to force it too much, but as you can see, that will go onto there. And it's a push fit connection apparently. So it just needs to go down a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Lovely. I don't think I can push it anymore, but there is still like a little gap, but it's not falling off. I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, it doesn't want us to do that yet, but. Yeah, if we do actually do that, it's because it's the morning, I'm getting all confused. It says you may want to use super glue, but it is a push fit connection, so um, we'll see whether whether we need to do that, but I don't think it does. So I think that goes. I want to get this round the right way, you see, so it's, I think it's round that way, isn't it? So it'd be like that. No, it's not going to go like that because I reckon it's something like that. So it'll be like that, DAF, because it's not going to fit the other way, is it? So DAF. <laughs> I was just having a little play. <laughs> but wow, we've got the steering wheel. So that's all he wants us to do, guys. Remember that. I haven't got issue 70, uh, why do I keep saying issue 70? I haven't got issue 80 at the moment, that's the windscreen, so as soon as that comes in I will go back a bit and do that, but we should be, if it comes in next week then we'll do 70, uh, we'll do 80 and 82 together, um, because next week is the return of the lives, yes, uh, we've had some disruption um, because of obviously Easter and my sister's birthday and stuff, so I'm only just sort of like getting back into the routine of um, doing lives and I've got to wait for my live uh, stream yards thing to reset so that's why I'm doing pre-records but that is it at least about issue number 81 moving the nation brought to you by Harsh at Parkworks please remember to like share subscribe tap the bell if you want to be notified of all the videos I do and I'll see you next Wednesday for the next at least bye